Hello friends, we are still not employed by a fan company, so let's not stop lead coding till we get there. Today we are going to do merge k sorted list problem and this is one of the most asked linked list problem and uh, if you just see that the number of companies that have asked this question is really huge. Uh, there are companies like Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Apple, ByteDance, uh, LinkedIn, Bloomberg, TikTok and uh, more companies like Uber, Goldman Sachs, Lyft, Twitter, Yahoo, Wish. Plantier, Tesla, Roblox, Pinterest, Airbnb. So these are my dream companies. So that's why I'm paying my utmost attention. I hope you also enjoy the video. This is a lead code hard problem and it is one of the most liked problems on lead code. But in my opinion, this should have been a medium problem and I'll tell you why. Now, if we understand the problem statement, basically we are given K distinct linked list and each linked list is sorted in ascending order. In the answer, we need to merge all the linked lists that are given in one single sorted linked list and then return that merge uh, linked list. So this problem is very similar to a previous problem we did merge two uh, sorted lists. So you can find that solution over here. And if we see the example for this case, uh, basically we are given bunch of different linked lists and all of them are sorted. So uh, if we see this first example, we are given linked lists like now we need to sort all of merge all of them in one single linked list and that single linked list needs to be sorted so if we see the answer the answer in this case is going to be that okay the smallest values are one one so they will always come first so it would be one one then we will have two three four four so two three four four and then we will have five and six and this would be the answer that we need to return in this case. That is the combination of all three uh, linked lists. Basically in the brute force, what we can do is uh, we are given few distinct number of lists. So it could be like list one, list two, list three, all the way up to list K. These are the list we are given in the input. What we can do is whatever the number of nodes they have, we can take all of those nodes, we can combine all the nodes, we can put it in a giant list, let's just name it as merge list. In the merge list, initially we put all the values uh, together ones. And then all we need to do is, if we just sort this given merge list, uh, then the sorted list would be our answer. And basically that's the, uh, that's the whole solution. This solution would work perfectly fine. And we, then in the end, we can just return whatever the sorted list we have found. Uh, okay what could be the issues with this problem like I, I won't find too many issues because this is also a decently good enough uh, solution if we see the time and space complexity in this case the time complexity is going to be big o of n log n why n log n because initially we will have to do big o of n work to iterate over all the nodes inside the given link list different link list and merge them together uh, so that takes and big o of n time and plus it takes big o of n log n time to sort the given uh, list so overall we will write them as big o of n log n and in terms of space complexity the space complexity in this case is going to be big o of n because we need additional room to space to store one additional parameter uh, of all the merge list before we sort it Let's see that what could be another solution. So in terms of the second solution, uh, suppose we are given three different lists like this. In this case, K is equal to three because we are given three distinct uh, values. What we can do is at any point, we can denote three different pointers to each location. Let's name them L1, L2, L3. And what we are going to do is our aim is to find the minimum value. We already know that for these three values, all the values are already in ascending order. So the approach that comes to mind is, okay, let's just create our merge list. And inside the merge list at any point, we are going to compare all the values between this L1, L2 and L3 and whichever is the smallest, we are going to pick that one. So in this case, okay, the smallest value is one. So we'll pick one over here and then we'll update the value of L1. Okay, so this is already done. Uh, L2 and L3 will still remain same. So now we have these three values that we need to compare. So the smallest value is two. So again, we'll update the L2 and uh, this we are done. Uh, so now we have these three values to compare. So now again, we'll add value number three and then we will be done with this one and we'll update the value of L3. So let me just do it, uh, do the whole thing. 
and uh, hope you you would be able to understand that what how we, how am i doing it okay so this is how we will progress and this would be our final merge list so we can simply return this one so this approach also works fine uh, there is there are no issues with that if we see the time and space complexity in this one the time complexity actually becomes so suppose if we consider that all the elements in this l1 l2 and l3 the total number of nodes are given n so we can say that the time complexity is going to be big o of n times whatever the this k is given so in this case k is 3 so we can do n times k so it's going to be n times k and this would be the time complexity so why n times k because remember in order for us to enter any single element we will have to do k work we will have to compare all these three elements and at any point we find the smallest element we will have to update that value so suppose if k is equal to 1000 then we might have to compare 1000 elements as well at once so that adds a little bit of complexity to it so is this approach good uh, this approach is okay but not very good because as i mentioned that if uh, we are given million elements as k then uh, basically what we are do doing is just big of n square work while we already know that even in brute force we are able to solve this in big of n log n so why do we need to do n square work okay so there is no point in doing that uh, let's see that what would be the most optimal solution okay so suppose we are given three lists like this and i know you are thinking that why i only put two elements in each list i'll just show you why uh, basically what is our aim our aim is to find that all the nodes that should be merged and that merge merge list has to be in ascending order right we need to maintain this ascending order so one of the best thing that should come to your mind is that is there any data structure that already exists where no matter how many number of elements you put inside it whenever you start taking the elements outside they should be following this ascending order property and yes there exists a predefined element or data structure that can do it and that's name is actually heap so if we maintain a min heap in this case uh, so the uh, if we add all the values inside the min heap and then we start taking values or the nodes outside of the min heap it is actually actually going to give us the sorted list uh, where it is the combination of all the merge elements let me show you how so let's create a priority queue that will represent this min heap okay and now let's start el uh, adding elements one by one so first we'll add four and seven okay next element is three so the moment we need to enter three we will have the priority queue is going to fix by uh, fix itself so it's now it is going to be three four seven okay now we need to enter eight so eight we can enter over here now this and this node we have to enter is one so again when we need to enter the one the priority queue is going to adjust itself so now the solution is going to be one three and the last node we need to enter is eleven so this we have all the elements inside our priority queue and now because we have this priority queue set up what we can do is now we can start polling all the values from the priority queue because remember the property of priority queue is that all the value and values are entered at the back and they gets out from the front uh, so now we will create a new merge list now inside this new merge list all we need to do is just keep on adding all the elements that are coming out of this priority queue so sequentially we will be adding one three four seven and all those elements and this would be the final solution that we need to return and we can simply return this as our answer and this would be the most optimal approach like this is uh, there are other approaches that work in the same time and space complexity but why this would be an optimal approach because your interviewer would like to hear that okay okay you are aware about this min heap concept and you can use priority queue when needed so this sounds reasonably fine if we see the time and space complexity in this case the time complexity is going to be big o of n log n why n log n because uh, in order for us to enter all the values inside the priority queue it takes a log n time and uh, we need to do it for all the uh, these n elements and in terms of space complexity the space complexity is going to be big o of n because we need to use this additional priority queue and uh, let's see the coding so first of all we will initialize a priority queue and uh, let's name it min heap 
so now we are going to run a for loop and we are going to iterate all the lists and uh, all the nodes and we are going to keep on adding those inside our min heap and uh, after adding the value to the min heap we will have to update the value of uh, list as well so we'll do list is equal to list dot next okay so after this loop ends uh, all the nodes should be inside our uh, min heap and now uh, what we need to do is take all the elements out so out of the min heap and put it inside our merge list so first of all we are going to create a dummy node uh, that would act as a placeholder for, so that we can call uh, our head when we need when we need it and this is the same trick we use in previous videos as well so you might be aware of it once this is done we will create our uh, list node uh, called merged list and for the merge we are going to uh, ass assign the first value as dummy so that in the future we can call this dummy node to find the head of this merge list and now we simply need to run a loop that while there exists an element inside the min heap we will have to add all those elements to our merge list and once this is done all we need to do is just return the dummy dot next and this should be our solution let's try to run the code okay seems like our solution is working as expected let's submit the code and our solution works pretty efficiently as you can see and i would be posting this solution inside the comments so you can check it out from there thank you